Uh, this series was started when Rod Logic Rolls the Dice um, linked me to a couple of videos of Matt Dillahunty where he said some pretty categorical things that I said are borderline totalitarian thinking. Um, the old uh, line from Orwell where, you know, the authoritarian said, thou shalt not, and um, the totalitarian said, thou shalt. And I said, Dillahunty is talking like the inner party from uh, 1984. We say, thou art. I really dislike it when people say, you are this. You think you're something else, but you're not. You're what I tell you you are. Or I will tell you what you're allowed to be. That's what that attitude sort of strikes me as being akin to. Um, Matt Dillahunty was telling people, in my opinion, what they were and what they were allowed to be. Uh, -uh that doesn't work with me. Um, and that's why I resist generally people asking me, what do you believe? What are you? What's your position? Well, I don't believe I should have a position if I don't believe that anyone else can decide for me what I am. Um, can I decide what I am, or am I simply that what I am? I simply what I am in some sort of odd deterministic kind of way? Am I just a result of all my experiences? Um, maybe, maybe not. I tend to subscribe to the idea of the will, though, and the will kind of it might not be free, um, but it at least says that there's some input from us <laughs> into what happens. We want something, <laughs> so we do things. We do things because we want to. <laughs> um, so we look for things in life. We look for satisfaction. We look for peace of mind. We look for answers to our questions. We look for whatever we look for. We want things. We have a will. Can that will actually create reality for us. I believe that in as much as reality is a creation of anything, it's a creation of this. It's a creation of our perceptions. All that I look around when I see is matter, energy, and empty space. And all of these are functions of each other. Um, but I will everything else into existence by imposing identity on everything. I, again, just because I don't accept identity or existence exists as an absolute doesn't mean that I have a problem with identity. I just want to be conscious of the fact that identity is coming from me. It doesn't exist phenomenally. <clears throat> now, in that view of things, when you have that view of existence, does atheism make sense? At least the atheism of Matt Dillahunty. Because if you accept existence exists, what you've basically done is you've said the universe is this way and anyone saying otherwise is wrong. Whereas even by saying that, you may be committing such a profound error that it will taint everything that comes from that afterwards. I think that that error gets made a lot. And I, I almost don't blame people for making it. Um, you go to the Islamic world and La ilaha la Muhammad Rasulullah is the backbone of everything. There is no God but God and Muhammad is his prophet. If they don't have that, Existence tends to melt away to nothing, at least in terms of their per perception of it, because God is everything in their society. You can't take that out of what they are any more than you can take existence exists out of our way of thinking. Are those three rules a faith? I honestly believe that to some people they absolutely are. <laughs> 